What is up my ladies and rats, my foods and foolettes? Welcome back to seeing my face. What is up? Guys, I've missed y'all. I love my vlogs, but today we're just gonna have a sit down and just have a little chit chat together, okay sis? Okay. Last week was my man's birthday, so we celebrated his day. And this weekend that just passed, we went up to Flex that with some of our friends. They had rented out a cabin, invited a lot of us, and girl, it was a great time. Oh! It was so much fun. The weather was I love I love layers, so I love the cold. I hope y'all had a great time doing whatever it is that you did, whatever time that it is you are watching today. I hope you're having a good day today too. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, uh, a few weeks ago I had posted a video about women friendships I feel like there's been a lot of discord on my timeline regarding just friendships and relationships and so I wanted to do a longer video talking about relationships straying away from women relationships and I wanted to talk to you guys about the three main relationships that I think are really important at least for in my life because as long as these three relationships are locked down I feel like every external relationship outside of that is just blossoming first relationship with yourself yup you are your own person this is your life your story it's so important for you to have a sense of who you are what do you like what are your morals what are your principles what do you not like what are you striving for like who are you and I emphasize the importance of dating yourself yes literally date yourself you know there was a point in time in my life where when I would get unregulated or I would have a lot of emotional stuff happening I would run away and I would go and do my vices or hang out with friends anything to numb away that pain for a little bit and it got to the point where I really had to sit with myself God really forced me to know me and I started recognizing that a lot of the things that I was doing in my life I actually didn't like but I knew that they were there to help me escape. And so I started exploring in my boredom. I allowed myself to feel bored. I allowed myself not to fill up my schedule to the last minute every single day. I allowed myself not to feel the need to be with somebody all the time. And I started going inwards and wow, it was exciting because I was literally getting to know a whole other version of myself that I did not even know existed. And once I stepped into that version of myself, like now I look back and I'm like, man, I can't believe I used to live like that like it's crazy how you will live when you're constantly running and clouding your mentality with all these vices and just running away from yourself I feel like when I went inward I started recognizing a lot of things that I like now I was just reverting back to my inner child like the pleasures of just going and sitting at a park and coloring the pleasure of just being around friends of just making silly videos or just being goofy and just letting letting myself breathe a little more getting to know myself was such a liberation as well because when I really got to know myself truly and really understand self-love and self-respect not only did I start living life differently or setting different boundaries I started showing up for myself differently I started standing up for myself differently everything was just different because I had a new sense of self and it was just like wow I want to protect her I want to love her so fiercely like she amazes me she blows my mind every time I learn something new about myself I'm like oh my god Kim holy shit <laughs> like I I love myself I love myself so much and it took me such a long time to get to where I am but I would not have been here if I continued to run away like there is such a beauty and there is such a world-shaking shift that happens in your life when you look inward instead of outer one thing I've learned since I was young and I've always kept this close to my heart is that you never place your validation you never place yourself your worth your value on the world on the external because the world one day is gonna love you the next day they're gonna hate you one day they're gonna say that you were the greatest thing to ever grace this world and the next thing they're gonna on your name but when you are so rooted in who you are knowing in who you are girl king nobody tear you down I know who I am in God God tells me the most beautiful things about myself and I believe that I stand 
on that business. You understand what I'm saying? So when somebody in the world says, blah, 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 don't listen, blah, 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 don't listen. I don't care to be liked by everybody. I don't care to be friends with everybody. Like, I love my life. I love the validation I give myself. I love knowing what I'm capable of, myself, my worth. But all of that came the moment I went. I looked inward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a word in itself. <laughs> And you know what happens when you find self-love and you find all that goodness feeling about yourself? You start treating your temple a little better. Yep. And your relationship with what? Food becomes so much better. I grew up having so many body image issues. <laughs> it was freaking crazy. Like I genuinely despise myself so deeply. Like there was such a deep and green hatred that I had for myself at one moment in time in my life. And to be where I am now, it's like, oh, okay, grow. <laughs> yeah, so like, so yeah, I grew up with all these body issues, eating disorders, like I counting calories, counting how much weight I was losing daily, weekly, what I was eating, how many calories, how much, like it was insane. Throwing up my food because I was like, man, like I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat that. Like thinking that that would make me skinnier. It was a big battle with my body. And when I had this big battle with my body, I was doing more damage to myself than good and in my head I was so fixated on no as long as I look like this I'm healthy as long as I look like this I don't care what else I'm doing in the back that's hurting me like I just want this image it took a long time of therapy and a long time of healing and a journey accept myself accept my body for what it does for me my god every day my body wakes up and it works hard for me my heart pounding day and night making sure my blood is flowing my brain everything that it does it does to love and protect me let's take a moment baby right now i want you to just hug yourself oh my god i do this to myself all the time i love myself my chula mm. Mm. And if you're not used to doing that, get used to doing that. You have to learn how to be there for yourself, how to love yourself. Once that self-acceptance came in, I started enjoying food so much more. Balance is needed in everything in life. So I don't go around eating 12 plus cookies every day plus nothing but sodium and processed foods. No, tampoco así, no, no te creas. But there was a time where I did, girl, and I was heavy. Now I've learned that it's okay in moderation. I will eat healthy and I will eat myself a burger. I will eat some pizza. I'll eat some Hawaiian chicken katsu. I will eat some fried fruits. As long as there's a balance, I enjoy myself to live life because I love food. And life is meant to be enjoyed and to have pleasure in life. And food, I love food. I do not deny myself food now I know the importance of hey I need to have a good hearty protein breakfast I need to be eating because my body my my body needs it my brain needs it food is medicine food is healing I don't deny myself food on the contrary I allow myself to eat anything my heart desires in moderation saving the most important one for last God and I know some of my friends don't believe in God then your spiritual life my goodness i'm not gonna argue about what you believe and or why i believe and what i believe you know how sometimes when you walk around and you can just like feel a person's like heaviness or you can feel like oh they're going through something your spiritual life baby just the same way that sometimes you can feel someone's like darkness or like cloud that they have about themselves you can feel the light of someone that prays and for me with my God girl when I read the Bible the Bible to me I don't take it as like stories to me I really do think it's a, it's a book of direction and principles and it's taught me so much God will use people and I love people and I'm grateful for people but a person cannot rob me of my destiny a person cannot close a door that's meant for me there is no person against me that can do anything or harm me because you know why god got me it is so good i would choose god over any y'all y'all any day <laughs> and that is the truth man god has gotten me out of some crazy things god has healed me god has saved me i would not be where i am without god man having that spiritual life it just it's different. So I encourage you, friend, to go 
fix that relationship with yourself fix that relationship with food and fix your relationship with God and if you're already strong in these relationships oh baby good for you I'm proud of you keep it going hasta la próxima mis amigos I love y'all